Okay, now that you have pinned the U section, we are ready to sew. The most important thing is to make sure you don't sew the back. We're only sewing these two pieces of fabric as one full stitch all the way around. We just finished step 10 and step 11, which says to place them inside one another and to pin them. We're moving on to number 12. It says place the top left side of the U section underneath the presser foot of the sewing machine. Be sure to pin only two of the fabrics. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them down. It's important to have a line of fabric in front of you and that helps keep everything organized because otherwise it can get pretty twisted. So we're gonna go ahead and count for two. I'm gonna turn up my speed a little bit. If your fabric is too thick, you can always start here and then reverse and then go forward um, because otherwise the edge sometimes gets stuck underneath the presser foot. Then continue sewing. Make sure that you have a sewing line too. If you don't have one, you need one. So that way you can kind of direct what you're doing. Every once in a while, you're welcome to stop and readjust your fabric and then continue sewing. You're making this all one stitch. When you get to the inseam where they meet at the top, you may need to stop, readjust, and then imagine yourself just shooting across the line. If you need to, you can always come down to a V and go back up because you don't want there to be a hole right here. So I'm gonna swoop down just a little bit and then match back up with my line. You're gonna go all the way until the end.